Well guys, welcome to an autumn adventure. The colours are absolutely popping here in the woods and I can't wait to head along the river to find the secret waterfall. I'm going to be enjoying some German Oktoberfest snacks and drinks and it's enjoying nature. I'm going to be hanging up my hammock for a night under the stars. So I'll see you guys at camp. Well, autumn is well and truly here. The leaves have begun to fall and the orange and the yellows are popping through the trees. The last time I was in these woods was when I camped by the river. A couple of friends of mine said, if you just worked your way a little further up, you'd have found yourself a waterfall. So I'm gonna follow the river and hopefully find this beautiful waterfall to hang my hammock for a night of camping. I have no idea how big this waterfall is or how small it is, but I do like camping by water, as you know from my channel. So let's head on over and see if I can find it. I've walked quite some distance and I'm yet to find it. If I don't find it, I guess I'll just be pitching up my sleeping arrangements somewhere along the river but I'm optimistic I'll find it I'm sure I will <laughs> it's beautiful here absolutely beautiful I can definitely hear some heavy water just behind that little hill there I think the waterfall might be behind there I'm hoping so so I'm getting thirsty Thirsty for an Oktoberfest beer. <laughs> I think I can see it. Oh wow. <laughs> oh that is lovely. <laughs> Take a look at that. So I took my uh, bag off and put my main camera down. I climb up here because where these rocks are, there's a little natural shelter that would be perfect for a bivy bag. If I have known, I would have camped there with my bivy, but I think I might have to come back here again for another little camp sometime because there's so many beautiful places here. I mean, you get to see the river there and then behind me, is the waterfall. But I'm going to try to find some trees, maybe just above it, to uh, set up for the night. It's exciting. I love finding new places. Cheers to Dean and Tom for letting me know there's a waterfall over here. Absolutely gorgeous. And over here, this little natural shelter, just down there. There is a rock there. But I could maybe move that one there, that little one, and just lay here. Perfect, really. I mean, there's a little ledge here that I can sit on and chill out, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to get closer to the waterfall now. Well, <laughs> I found the waterfall. Absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely in a camp 
by that rock as a little shelter spot with my bivy. I'm gonna just head up this path here and hopefully find a perfect couple of trees for my hammock. I need that beer. Oktoberfest beer. Come on, let's find that spot. <laughs> well, I've made it to the other side of the waterfall, but as you can see, I want a bit of a slope here. So you try to find sweaty work this. <laughs> I need to find myself a reasonable spot that's not too close to the edge, but close enough where I can enjoy it. Oh, that's a nice breeze. Oh, much needed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, nature. Just behind me there is another cave for me to explore, maybe camp in some time. Got a nice view to the little river here that's just about to fall off the waterfall. And it looks like a bigger space for me to camp in as well. What I'm going to do is string my hammock on those two trees there. I'm going to be on a bit of an angle, but obviously with a hammock, I can make it nice and straight. So I'm going to get unpacked now and get ready for a night outdoors. <laughs> Well, this is probably the most sketchiest location I've put a hammock. There's the waterfall and there's some ground underneath me here. I'm going to test out this hammock. This is probably the first time ever I'm, I'm relying on my hammock to hold me. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want to tumble down anywhere. I mean look at that drop. For quite a few of my adventures, I've been using my Dura 2 Mortisam sleeping bag. Extra large, because my big boy. <laughs> it goes up to minus five. I was in this sleeping bag last night, actually. I was camping with my wife in the car. We went for a nice little drive on the Yorkshire Moors and hit a few pubs on the way and went for a lovely steak and ale pie and chips and gravy at the Lion Inn, which I believe is one of the highest pubs in the UK. Or well, the Yorkshire Moors, anyway, it's the highest pub. The Guardian has rated it as the best pub in North Yorkshire. Watch the sunrise, had a coffee in the morning. It was such a good time. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> That's why I've seemed a little bit exhausted getting up here. But it's good to have this sleeping bag again because last night I was sleeping in my pants in the car. And when you're on the top of the moors, it's very cold during the night. But in this, I was absolutely fine. The wind has died down a bit now, which is good. But I'm feeling pretty hot. So I'm gonna try and get as close to the waterfall as possible, freshen up a little bit, and just enjoy that while the sun is out for a little bit longer. So I'm gonna try find an easy entry point to get as close as possible. So I'll see you down there. Where the waterfall is, is literally only a stone throw away from my hammock. I've got such a good view here. It's so perfect. I was literally going to come down to the water and just fresh in my face, but I am so tempted to get in that water. Should I go in? Yeah. Oh, it's cold. Oh, crazy. Oh, what have I done? Happy October Fest <laughs> 2024. Absolutely lovely. It is so cold, but I feel so refreshed. It's October and it's chilly in the air, but I'm mad. I'm mad for a bit of nature, a bit of wild swimming. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Cheers to you guys. It makes me so happy knowing that you guys just enjoy the videos and enjoy nature as much as I do. Maybe not as much as I do. <laughs> Maybe you're not brave enough to get in the water, but I'm sure a lot of you are. Get yourself out there, guys. Get yourself out there. Enjoy nature. Enjoy a beer. 
enjoy some pastry. <laughs> Love it. Need no trace. <laughs> I thought to myself, you know what? I might be able to get in this water. I have no idea what I came to today. But I'll bring an extra pair of pants. I'll bring a little towel. And I'll soon warm up with a few bits of cheeses and meats and some beer. Oktoberfest. Gotta have a good time. Gotta have a good time in nature. Just force yourself. Force yourself to do the uncomfortable. The idea of getting into water is like, nah. If I let that last camping experience I had, well, the one before the river camp, put me off camping, it'd be a nightmare. You have to get back on your bike. Get back on your bike and get out and fully embrace it. Just love life. I'm absolutely loving life. I'm enjoying my beer, which is sadly empty now. I'm gonna have to fill this up in a minute. Enjoying my uh, my chug, my good old wooden tankard there. That is a feast. And it just felt so right to do so here in nature. I need to go and finish my uh, my snacks. Get myself out of here. Woo! <laughs> right, I think it's time to get out. <laughs> And do you know the crazy thing is, I'm not having a fire tonight. <laughs> I said to myself, do you know what? I won't need a campfire tonight. I'm gonna eat some cheeses and some German meats and drink some German beers and that. I won't need to cook on a fire. I'll just bring a little stove with me, cook up some bratwurst and stuff. So I don't have all my fire lighting stuff with me. <laughs> So I'm going without a fire tonight. It's all good, I'll warm up. Put some fresh pants on, put my jacket on for a bit, get in my uh, sleeping bag maybe, just to warm up. Oh, but that was good. I feel refreshed. I was up early this morning from that car camp with my missus and uh, that's woken me up. I feel good. Woohoo! <laughs> oh man. I feel alive. I feel refreshed. And I feel cold. <laughs> but it was definitely worth it. And yes, <laughs> I brought those beers, Ratworth and Pretzel down with me with the idea of dipping into a waterfall but man that was a perfect spot i had no idea there was like a little pool little hot tub area well not a hot tub a cold tub area for me to dip in i was expecting to just stand underneath it but exploring there and finding that gem that's gonna be perfect in the summer it's kind of unfortunate i didn't find it in the summer really but there's always next time and here's my hammock ready for me Oh. <laughs> time to take this hat off because it doesn't fit me really I got out the brass monkey he kindly gave me those beers I was there recently my friend Andrew and uh, we had some steins and every time you got yourself a stein you get yourself a hat I love that patch on there I'm gonna stick that on my backpack at some point but boy it feels good Feels good to be outdoors. Feels good not to have to pack up and leave. That camp was absolutely wild recently that I had to leave from. Unfortunate, um, having somebody seeming like they were stalking me a bit, you know, kind of watching me from a distance, which is a bit weird. But welcome guys, if you're new to the channel, who uh, came from watching that video. Just want to thank you that said lovely kind words and enjoyed it regardless of the uh, mishap there. A lot of you are so kind. Obviously, understandably, a few people are a bit sceptical 
about the video, which is understandable. I'll be as well. You know, unfortunately, there's a bit of a trend, isn't there, online for people faking things for views, which is not the case for me here. Um, 100% genuine. Yeah, I would never dare go outdoors, have some time away from myself just to go back home, just to make a silly video. You know, it is what it is. People can choose what to believe, but I'm here enjoying life, enjoying what I enjoy most, being outdoors and sharing it with you. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining. And I hope you stick around to enjoy the rest of the adventures that I will be doing. So what I'm going to do now, I think, is just chill out and try to warm up a little bit. Have a beer. Another beer from Brass Monkey. Cheers guys, legends. I'm actually risking tonight, I'm actually thinking about risking not having a tarp tonight. I do have my DD 3x3 tarp. I'm probably gonna go without. I kind of like the idea of seeing clear skies, which will allow me to see a night sky full of stars, you know? Just risk it, why not risk it? It's not forecast to rain, so I'm gonna risk it for just a good view, I think. And if it rains, well, it rains. <laughs> I'm just having a little stroll now, just warming up. Blanket on, winter coat on. Thought I'd come up onto the main path, which I'm on now, just to see if I can actually see my hammock, which it's actually down there and you can't actually see it, which is brilliant. I've learned a vital lesson really. Don't get too comfortable. I've done all this camping stuff for many years, I think for about five years I've been doing wild camping and sometimes you just get too comfortable um, which is not a bad thing because you know you want to be comfortable when you're outdoors but you forget sometimes that a lot of places that you camp are public or private and you don't want people walking in so I've come for a walk just to warm up and to see if I can actually see my camp which I can't I'm going to keep my lights nice and low and I'm going to just cook some bratwurst sausages and have some German meats and cheeses as it's Oktoberfest after all. Um, and just to keep it simple because I, I love cooking like <laughs> ridiculous meals sometimes when I'm out camping like sausage and chips on the beach or cooking blue cheeseburgers. But sometimes it's nice just to keep it nice and simple. You know, things you can just nibble on because it's not about what you can cook outdoors. It's just about being outdoors. So I encourage you guys to do the same. Get out there. You might be able to see my hammock now. It's, it's there, but it blends in quite nicely. So I'm gonna get my food now, probably head down to the spot that I first went to, that um, the natural shelter, because it had a nice ledge there where I can put my little fire stove on and cook up something nice. So I'm gonna get my food, head down there, and I'll see you guys down there. The Bratwurst sausages are doing lovely with the Hinterland beer by Gisborough Brewery. Cheers to Robin, doing wonders over there in Gisborough Town. He's got his lovely Hinterland German inspired beer for Oktoberfest, which is very exciting. So the Bratwurst sausages are gonna soak up nicely, all those nice Kolsch lager flavor. I've cooked with beer before. I've cooked Bratwurst before um, in my last Oktoberfest video. If you've not seen that, check that out with the link at the end of this video. I cooked a lovely meal there. So I'm just gonna let this do its thing, get all the meats and cheeses out, and then I'm happy. You might have noticed I'm not actually down in that little cave that I spotted earlier on today. The reason for that, when I went and looked over, it's pretty far dropped down. It's a bit of a steep one really, so I don't really fancy doing that right now. So I'm just gonna eat my food here and cook my food here and just chill out very quiet over here even though it's quite noisy but it's that nice static sound that's going to help me drift off to sleep nicely tonight it's going to be lovely 
The sun is now set and it's time to enjoy some German meats and cheeses. I have mini cabanossi, paprika wafer fin salami, Bavarian ham, more German salami, garlic sausage, olives, pickled onions and gherkins, grapes and tomato, a fresh white roll with cucumber seeded mustard, edam and camazola cheese and crackers, sauerkraut, bratwurst, some apple slices and chutney. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> so I'm gonna enjoy this meal and then I'm gonna probably hunker down in my hammock, feeling like a, a full bear. <laughs> right, let's tuck in. <laughs> I definitely made good of that. Whoa. Leftovers will be going in the bag. I'm probably eating on the way home tomorrow as I venture out of the woods. I'm feeling quite tired now and I'm thinking about going to bed to be honest. There's not much to do now. I would then just enjoy nature and have some time for myself. Listening to the waterfall and looking up at the sky, looking at the stars that are starting to peer through the night sky now. I'm going to lay in my hammock, get myself all snugged in there. Well, I'm in my hammock now, nice and cosy, listening to that nice sound of the waterfall and just feeling nice <laughs> and warm, thankfully, in my sleeping bag and having that nice meal. A bit of a chill in the air, actually. I don't know if you can see that. Autumn is here, but having that nice little hike into camp was so nice. Just seeing the colours and the leaves fall in and seeing that river as well to follow, to find the waterfall. And then finding that waterfall, very rewarding. And having that fun time, just splashing about in the waterfall as well. Just being silly, just having a laugh. It was nice, just letting my hair down and enjoying myself outdoors and enjoying some nice German cheeses and meats and beers as well. So what I'm going to do, as I'm nice and full for my food, is get myself some sleep, and I'll see you guys nice, bright and early in the morning. So I'll see you guys soon. Good morning guys, slept well, very peaceful, I was able to look up to the stars last night which was really nice, just a sky full of stars, funny thing is I was, <laughs> I dreamt last night I was in space and I woke up about four o'clock just looking at the stars, I was like, am I in space? <laughs> uh, it's currently now quarter to seven, 6.45 a.m. I'm gonna get out, make myself a coffee. I have to shoot off pretty early today. Uh, family plans and all. But what a way to start the day. Absolutely perfect. And the sun is starting to rise just behind me.
A little bit of chocolate this morning. Mm. Very nice. Apparently it's got lots of caffeine in it. Which is good. Wake me up a bit. Speaking of caffeine. Just waiting for my uh, water to boil to make a nice coffee this morning. A lovely fresh autumn's morning. And I'm just watching the uh, sunrise behind the trees. Lovely orange glows through the trees for me to look at. It was a night of good sleep to be fair. I woke up a couple of times looking at the stars but I was very comfortable. Very lovely indeed. It's good to be out in the hammock. I love the hammock. One of my favourite ways to camp. Very comfortable and you can just pitch up anywhere doesn't matter if the ground is not flat you just need two trees and you're all good to go I'm just gonna enjoy a nice coffee pack up which will be very easy as I packed up most of my stuff last night I just need to put my hammock away and my sleeping bag and little bits here and there and I should be good to go but even if you have to set off early in the morning it's definitely worth getting out because waking up to the sound of the birds and hearing nature such as waterfalls and things you just you just wake up so much better you feel more alert i don't think it's just a chocolate speak in there <laughs> you just wake up so much better so nice all right i better check on this water A few people have asked me if I've got any updates from the last video I put up. The one where I had to leave camp and somebody was watching me to make me feel uneasy. Well actually I do because a friend of mine's dog a few years back got caught in a trap there in a snare I believe they're called and uh, which caused a bit of bother as you can imagine. So my conclusion what i think it was is that somebody was there either poaching or doing something illegally like doing trapping and stuff and they were probably wondering who i was because if it was their land it would told me to easily move on which i would respect um, but the fact is they didn't respond back to me and chose to still sneak about i had to get out of there i don't know what that person's doing but i'm definitely not going to be camping there again that's why I'm camping in a new location today, somewhere completely different, out the way, and beautiful as well. So I've learned a lesson there. Go a bit further away from home, somewhere a bit more out in the sticks. And the good thing about it, you get to find beautiful places like this. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Bit of fun. <laughs> Going in that waterfall, um, enjoying the autumn weather and the colours as well and um, I look forward to taking you guys on another adventure soon Well guys, I'm back on the path now, all packed up, I'm ready to go home for a shower. <laughs> oh, what a gorgeous day. But thanks guys for joining the adventure with me, and I look forward to taking you on another adventure soon. 
So until then, remember to stay wild and stay safe. Peace.